What do you think about the Goggle X extension board from Caddx? Yeah. What about that? Let's look at that. Thank you for a uh, five euro super chat, French pilot. This is the Goggle X extension board, and they are giving it away free to people who have the Goggle X. Which, by the way, Caddx, Caddx, meet, meet me. Meet me over at camera too. Caddx. I, 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 I don't know what to make of you. Like, on the one hand, you say that you're going to have the, the second generation of your video system targeted for August 2024. Now it's the end of September. There's no hide sign of it. You said there was going to be an app, and it took forever, but there is technically an app now for your goggles, so cool. Like, you, you release the goggles, and they have this overheating problem. And, like, I, I kind of want to get on a, oh, oh Caddx, oh, I'm so annoyed with you. And then you do a cool thing like this. You release this extension board with these additional features, and you're like, yeah, yeah, we put them in the goggles. But if you already bought the goggles, don't worry. You can have it for free. That's such a good move. I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I feel like Caddx is like that, that, that person that you date, and like they're kind of mean to you, and you're like, ah, screw them. And then suddenly they're just love bombing you, and you're like, oh, this is so good, you know? And I just, it feels, I don't know. But good, good move, Caddx is what I'm, I'm trying to comp. I'm so bad at compliments; they always come off like an insult. I don't know what my problem is. <laughs> so cool, Caddx, that you did this. Uh, the expansion board has uh, support for an analog adapter. Here, we'll this just extension look at this. module is only compatible with the Avatar goggles X models that do not have built-in head tracking. That do it not have built-in the head tracking function and AI fixes voice. the compatibility of some analog receivers. When installing the module, make sure the white connector faces forward. <laughs> mm. Looks good. The shorter power cable connects to the goggles, while the longer one connects to the module. Maybe it could be a little more compact. The five pin end plugs into the goggles, and the four pin so that's end the AV plugs input. into the module. The pins of the analog receivers can be inserted into any row of the module's connectors. What Power holds the analog the module X. in? Press and hold the return button for five seconds to switch to... I'm sorry. What holds the module in? What holds the module in? Is it just sitting in there with friction or does it actually click in? That's kind of important. <laughs> I would, I would want a little more. It doesn't look like there's any retention there is my point. As it just held in by the pins, we would need to double-sided sticky tape that or something. Could have done that a little better. Uh, people are pointing out that it could have been done with a new top plate. Yes, that also would have been nice if it was integrated uh, into the top plate. Uh, nevertheless, I've given it away for free. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah. Uh, does it add the head tracker as well? Does it add the head tracking functionality? I can't tell. It does have the head tracker. Oh, maybe that's what the PWM input is for. But then, no, that's the CVB. S. Where's the head tracker output? It's the PWM on the third one. Two goggles X. Oh, is the head tracker on the other side? There's PWM, but that's a plug. Two goggles X. Oh, maybe DCN. I don't see a head tracker output. Well, anyway. Anyway, um, that's cool. It could have been better integrated. It sucks that it's just double-sided sticky tape to the top, but I guess they didn't want to inject. I see they didn't want to injection mold a new a new plate, but they freaking machined a new shell, so I don't know. Would be nice if it was better integrated, but that's cool. And they're giving it away for free. Why not? Um, uh, insane FPV. Thank you for a hundred dollars uh, for a ten dollars super chat. I really thank you for a hundred dollars super chat. If you left one, <laughs> uh, I am building a long range drone, a ten inch. I have DJI V2 goggles and G3. What's the longest range VTX and camera compatible with my goggles? Crap. Uh, first of all, don't use the goggles three with a self built drone today. Right now, the only air unit that the G3 is compatible with is the O3 air unit. The G3 is also compatible with DJI drones like the Avada 2 and so forth, but that's not what you're talking about. There is a bug 
between the G3 and the O3 air unit right now where basically they lose Link and Link doesn't come back and you lose your quad if you don't have returned to home. So do not use the G- the Goggles 3 with the O3 air unit, period, today. That is a non-starter until GGI fixes the bug. Will they fix the bug? Probably. When will they fix the bug? No one knows. DJI knows. When they do, we'll let you know. Okay? So the V2 is your only choice between those two. Um, and when used with the V2... Uh, the, uh, the Vista air unit has like a 23, col- uh, 13 kilometer range. And I believe the O3 is like a 23 kilometer range. Blunty, do you agree, disagree, or no opinion on those numbers? We've had this conversation before that with the V2 goggles, it doesn't matter what air unit you're using. The range limit is 13 kilometers full stop. Yes. That's what you wrote with the goggles two and Integra. It goes to 30 kilometers for the Vista and 23 kilometers with the O3, but that doesn't matter because you don't have the Goggles 2 or the Integra. And with the G3, don't use them because there's a bug that will cause you to lose video link and and lose your your video, lose your quad. So there you go. Pick the O3 or the Vista. It doesn't matter. 13 kilometers is how far you can fly maximum, though. What are the best antennas for the Walksnail Goggles X? For long range, I have the Flywoo Um, uh, LR4. What I would do to answer that question is I would go and I would go to TrueRC. TrueRC makes a lot of really good antennas. And I would go directional medium gain antennas. And I would look what they have for walk snail. Can I just search for walk snail? How about that? So, X2 pair, yeah, for Goggles X. So I probably would get something like this. X2 Air pair for Goggles X. Um, excuse me, I have a little bit of a hiccup. I've been drinking Spindrift Pineapple. So good. Um, now, if you're going long range... You might not even want the Omnis. You might want dual. So you might even see if you could figure out a way to mount four of them and really reach out there. But like something like this would be the place I would go if I didn't want to do like a custom high gain antenna. Yeah. 